In this clip, we're going to be adding God rays to our shot. Okay, so just to kind of get you started and show you what these God rays look like, I'm going to add them right here between our merge and our grain. So I'll hit the tab key and type in God rays. And then we'll just put that right there between these two guys. So if I start to increase the scale on this God rays node, it's going to kind of create this radial blur look, but you can see how it's kind of focusing on those really luminant areas of our shot. Um, and if I pull this kind of up into the side where the sun is coming from, we can start to get some really cool effects. However, this is obviously, you know, distorting our image way too much. So what we need to do is kind of isolate these God rays and sort of pull them out and then merge them back in with our shot instead of distorting the whole shot based on the God rays. So way we can do that is to kind of create a little side pipe that comes out here and then merges back in. So I'll take this and kind of pull it out like that and then we'll add another merge node right here after our other merge and then we'll hook the A pipe up to the God rays. Now, this isn't perfect either, but you can see that we are getting a little bit less distortion, at least on our background. So now um, a few things are right, a few things are wrong. We're adding the God rays back in, but because of the way that we're doing it, it's making our image overly bright. You'll notice if I'm viewing here versus here, the image is way, way more bright because it's being basically put right on top of itself. So we don't want that either. What we need to do is isolate the bright parts of our image and only uh, add those back instead of the whole image on top of itself. So let's go ahead and add a keyer that we can do that with. So I will just kind of unhook this merge for now and the God rays node as well. And we'll add a keyer. Now this is different from what we used earlier when we used the um, our other keyer node, key light. This is going to be a little more simple of a keyer node and it can perform you know, a few operations here. By default, it does a luminance key, which is perfect. That's exactly what we're wanting. So we'll just plug that into our merge and then let's view the keyer. So with it selected, I'll hit the one key. Now, if I start to come in here and pull these guys all around uh, our handles right here where we're choosing which areas to key, nothing happens because as you can see here, it's only affecting the alpha. So let's get into that alpha channel and see what happens. If I hit the A to view alpha, you can see what that looks like. And it's basically showing us our luminance. So the brightest areas of the shot kind of just turns it black and white. But if I go into the keyer and I start to pull this over, you can see if I take it all the way to the side, now I've just got those brightest areas of my shot. So I'm going to maybe pull this back just a little bit. So I'm getting a little bit more than when it's pulled all the way over and maybe even just a bit there where just a tiny bit of the sky is included. And now let's see what happens whenever we use this as an alpha channel for our data that we want the God rays to come from. So I would add my God rays to that and then merge this back in. Now let's hit the A key again and view it. Not quite perfect still because, um, you know, you could see here that when we were just viewing uh, the alpha, that's all it was affecting. But when we come back here, it's not really being used to isolate anything yet. So we need to add a couple more nodes in between our God rays and our uh, luminance keyer. So I'm going to actually use a shuffle copy node. And this is a perfect example of when you would want to use shuffle copy. So I want my uh, values coming in from the one here to be the alpha. So I've got this one pipe plugged in here and I'll, I'll move this over and say, okay, we want the alpha values coming from here, but I want my RGB values coming from over here, not my RGBA. So I'm going to change this to RGB. 
Okay, so then whenever I view, still have a little bit of a problem, but one thing we need to do now is pre-multiply. So let's add our pre-mult. And now the effect is far more subtle. So now we can go into our God rays and really start to scale that up and you're going to get a way nicer God ray. Now, the steps on this God ray right now are set to five. So you can increase that and it's gonna to start to smooth it out. So there I've set it to 10 and we get a much nicer looking God ray. Now, as I go forward, you can see that some of these kind of start to cut off. So you may want to increase them to have them extend a little bit more. And the more you increase here in the scale, the more steps you may need, so just plan accordingly. Now, this also is looking a little bit overly bright now. So we can go into the either the mix of the God rays themselves or the mix on our merge. And then we can begin to increase or decrease their um, the amount that they are being added in. Now just to tidy things up, it's actually a little bit better practice for me to come in here, hold down control and add a dot node between these two merge nodes and then take my shuffle copy uh, two, number two pipe and plug it into that dot. This gives us, you know, just a little bit more organized flow. It's still giving us the same information flow. It's just more organized now. So now the RGB data coming in from here, alpha from here, pre-multiplied, and then voila, God rays are created and everything is beautiful. Now again, come over here and play around with how much you want those rays to actually be visible. Um, and that really helps to kind of tone it down. You don't want to go overboard with these. Now, if maybe you want your rays, you know, as we have them kind of less apparent here, but maybe you want more of them, you can always go back into your keyer and pull this back over this direction and you're going to get more rays because we're keying out less of the background. Um, you can also add, um, if I go over here and I hit tab and I type in erode, you're gonna have a couple different types of dilate. Actually, I don't wanna use this one. I wanna use the erode filter. And if I plug this in here, um, and let's actually jump over to that, we'll view it and hit the A key. Actually, I'm gonna jump right, view right after my pre-mult. And uh, let's see, our keyer here, somehow we got reset, there we go. Um, Cause I had pulled that all the way open, that's why. <laughs> so. I can come into my filter erode and I can decrease the value and you can see how it adds more in the areas that I want, but it doesn't actually add all of this. So it's kind of a slightly different way of adding kind of a larger sample size area. So I like that about it. Now, one reason why I chose filter erode instead of the one I had at the beginning, the filter, the fast blur one is because we have this option under the filter. So box, you know, is going to give us this pretty basic square shape, which doesn't look very natural. But you can also choose triangle, quadratic, or Gaussian. And Gaussian actually is probably going to give you the most um, nice and soft looking way to kind of expand on that. So now if I come back over here and I view the merge and I'll hit the, the A key, now we've got a little bit more coming through on our God rays, but it still feels, you know, subtle enough that it's not so over the top uh, by, you know, just kind of pulling this away over here. That just feels, you know, like, like a little too much. And you can still continue to add more. It's just in a little bit of a different way by using this filter erode. Now you don't want to take it all the way um, over up past zero, or then you're going to start to get some odd results. So anything below zero is kind of where you want to keep that. Okay, that about wraps it up for God rays and how we can add those. Let's come back for a couple more finishing touches in the next few clips.